Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do the daily angelic message. And we are using the Cosmic Dancer Oracle. If you'd like to purchase this deck, please click the link down in the description box down below. It will take you straight to Amazon to purchase. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And I'm going to take the top card. And top card is number 23 and it is be present yes it is so important to be in the moment because when we are scattered okay and we're not present we're not enjoying everything that there is in life so this is telling us that you know you're alive within the great fields of unified consciousness and this great field of unified consciousness is alive within you. You are not separate from the field. It is you and you are it. At the truest and most authentic level, everything is perfect as it is now, just as everything is unfolding flawlessly and for your ultimate benefit. To the linear human mind, this presents a paradox. If it's already perfect, why should you take constructive action or draw upon your power to change your situation for the better? To the divine mind with which you are inseparable, both can be true. It can be all perfect and you could also choose to create positive change. Your situation will immediately benefit when you come into true presence, which is, you know, us being in the moment. This means accepting and allowing what is right now in its entirety, including what takes place within and around you. You do not fight against it and you do not tell stories about what is, what it isn't, or what it should or shouldn't be. You know, when we resist things, they say when you resist, it persists, and it is so true. And it doesn't mean that we're accepting something that, you know, was wrong and that was done to us, you know, terribly. You know, it, it's just saying that, you know, once you accept things as they are, and accept them for what they are and not wish that they were something else, it really takes a load off your chest, believe me, because when you spend your day fighting uh, something that you have no control over, you know, you end up exhausted at the end of the day, okay? So what you want to do is, you know, try to bring your mind, body, and spirit together in the present moment awareness and, you know, just... If you could, you know, do some breathing exercises throughout the day. Uh, that will keep you grounded. Uh, if you could sit in meditation, you know, for 10 minutes, you know, in the beginning of your day or even at the end of the day, it's beneficial. Uh, whatever it is, you're going to be able to find peace and be able to center yourself when you become more present in this very moment and accepting of whatever is, is. It is what it is. So practice being present today instead of allowing your mind to wander. Bring yourself back to the current moment. Thank you for watching.